Welcome back to Grizz Vision. My name is Neil Rule here with Coach Campy practicing in Northern Kentucky and camp, obviously the weather, the, the big story around town, back home, down here, everywhere. So we came in a day early, so I uh, got to practice here in the arena, not something we typically do. No, it's not something I like to do either, but um, you know, I like to come for comfortable practice in our own building and get on the bus and come down, but we had to do it, otherwise we wouldn't have made it. Um, don't know if they'll play the game tomorrow or not, but we're prepared, we're here, and if, if we can't play, then we'll find a place to practice and get ready for Wright State. You know, Kemp, when you look at it too, you know, the snow, the concern back home, ice is the uh, ice is the, the big concern down here. I mean, how do, you, how do you keep everybody on focus here? I keep everybody on task because you, you, day to day, Camp, we don't know what the hell is going to happen, man. Yeah, it's just weird times, and you know, it's like I've told them, nothing's easy that's worth anything, and it's it, this whole thing's not easy, and uh, this could be another monkey wrench in it, and we just figure it out. And, you know, that it's the same for both teams. So you know, it's the team that handles its best, that plays the best, that's going to win. Northern Kentucky's a really good team. Um, they're, they're hot, hot right now too. They're yeah. hot. They've won five in a row and they beat the best teams in the league. They beat Wright State. They beat Cleveland State. And now they got us. So I'm sure they want to play because they're on a roll. And, uh, you know, it's a huge game for us. Huge, huge game for us. If we can find a way to be one point ahead when this thing's over, and that's going to be very difficult to do. Uh, but if we can, then, you know, we, we put a little separation there for us. A win at Northern Kentucky is not a place that Cleveland State didn't get it you know Wright State didn't get it so uh, it would be something a notch above everybody else what's changed for them you know you mentioned the fact they've won five in a row you know why, why are they firing and also oh, they're starting to make now. shots they're start and they figured out their rotation they got this freshman that's really good he'll end up being the freshman of the year in the league I'm sure he's won the weekly award like five times and I think they had to figure out how to use him to best make their team better and they started him at point and now they, they've kind of moved him off the point and they brought Langdon bad who, back who's, you know, got championship rings. And he's out there running the point now. And I think that veteran leadership has probably really helped them. Uh, Faulkner and Warwick are shooting the ball really, really well. And then that two-headed monster in, in Nelson and... Uh, um, Brandon. Brandon under the basket, the way they rebound the basketball. I mean, they're, they're, they're just an unbelievable rebounding team. And... Um, you know, they're, they're playing they're playing as good as anybody in the league right now so uh it, it's it's a tough task all right camp as always appreciate the time and uh we'll get updates as as we get them yeah and ho hopefully we're going to play the game on time and and uh you know have a great basketball game all right camp thanks yeah